Hey, hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Socialist. You know, check this out. My man, Gary Russell Jr. has been looking very impressive lately. 20 0 with 12 knockouts, cleaning up that featherweight division. You know, I asked about um, future opponents. You know, he, uh, this is the part that got me. He wanted Juan Mar Lopez. Why? The guy done got knocked out twice for Orlando Salido. If you want to fight somebody, fight Salido. Why are you going to call out somebody that, that just got knocked out twice and suspended? And the part that got me was Gary Russell didn't even know he was suspended until 2013. How do you be a boxer and not be a fan of boxing and not know what's going on in your own weight division? That baffles me. So then he was asked about Nonito Denaire. This part that really got me. He told Nonita he better keep his butt at 122. I would actually like to see the fight just because of that comment he made. Um, I don't know who win that one. I would probably give the edge to Gary Russell only because Nonita's coming up. And, you know, moving from 118 to 122, he's not really showing a lot of... Well, in that fight, he didn't really show a lot of devastating power moving up in weight. So you never know, man, you know, what he'd do at 126. But um, I don't think that Nito's even thinking about him right now. He's trying to clean out the 122-pound division. But if Gary Russell and Onito Nito Denaire fought at 126, who would you have winning? Leave your comments below. I'm interested to know what y'all think. Don't forget to go to BoxingSocialist.com, YouTube at BoxingSocialist, Twitter at BoxingSocialist. Check us out. We're out.